What's up, guys? I'm Joe Drake here with the fabulous Leah Thompson, and we're playing a fun game called A Look Back at Leah's <laughs> Legacy. I'm particularly proud of that name, I have to say. <laughs> All right, so in this bowl are movies or TV shows you've been in, and in this bowl are different questions and scenarios. You pick the movie, I'll pick the question, and then we'll go. Okay. Okay. You ready? Yep. Okay. Some Kind of Wonderful. Ooh. This movie makes me think of... My husband, Howie, who I'm just about to celebrate 29 years oh, of congratulations. marriage with, And I have two beautiful daughters. He directed it. Oh, perfect. I love that. Okay. okay. Back to the Future 3. Ooh. Which co-star were you closest with? Uh, Michael J. Fox. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? You guys stayed close throughout the whole thing? Yeah, we were good friends. Yeah? Yeah. My director's telling me that there was a Back to the Future 4 hoax. Yes. Did you see this? Yeah, yeah well, but I just... was devastated. I, but then I talked to, then I talked to uh, Michael J. Fox's publicist, and she was like, maybe... I was like, is that a hoax? And she says, I think so. Maybe she was just Maybe she was just trying to give me yeah. hope. Would you do one? Uh, who wouldn't? I know. Hello? Hello? Anybody home? All the right moves. Ooh, all the right moves. I still keep in touch with blank from those days. Mm, uh, no one? Hashtag nobody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so no Tom Cruise? Uh, I, I like him, but, I, but no. he doesn't call me. Yeah. <laughs> or he certainly doesn't cast me in his movies. Yeah. Tom! Damn it. <laughs> we didn't quit. You quit. Uh, Dennis the Menace. Ooh, I love this one. Funnest memory or outtake? Uh, my most fun memory was the first time I met Walter Matthau. Yes. Yes. The great Walter Matthau. Yes. And I don't know if I can tell this story without saying swear words. You can, we'll believe it. But he literally said to me, the first time he saw me, because I had blonde hair like uh -huh. Marilyn Monroe, he uh -huh. goes, you look like Marilyn Monroe. You know, I tried to sleep with her, but you know what? It didn't really work. I, those blondes with the big boobs, they just lay there. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what that he is said. hysterical. That's what he said. Ha! Ah, you're the last person in the world I tell that to. He was very funny, and I loved him yes. more than life itself. Oh, amazing. Uh, the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh, this was my favorite movie you were in. Oh, my you God. You played the most annoying, mean villain. <laughs> like, you scared me as a child. You were such a <laughs> bee. I loved it. I loved it. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Lorette Valour. Oh, the best. Something that annoyed me about making this movie. Um, well, this is what annoyed me about making this movie. I got okay. the part, and they couldn't tell what accent I was supposed to have when I went undercover. Oh. And so they took me to the studio head. They gave me some sides, okay, like and they said, read it in a German accent. Read it in a French you accent. You had already gotten the part? Yes. Read it, read it in an English accent. Oh, no. Read it in a Audrey Hepburn <gasps> accent. And I was like, that's when I, I could do all those other accents. Yeah. But then I said, you have to do French so I could make this joke, which was, instead of happiness is hard to find, I could say, happiness is hard to find. Oh, I love that. And they gave me that's the French a good accent. story. Thank you. Happiness is hard to find. Excuse me. OK, Caroline in the City. Oh, I love that series. OK, when filming this, I had a crush on when I, know you, you were I was married, married but, dwelling. Yeah. Uh, probably Malcolm Getz. He's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah. I loved him. But, you know, we were friends. I mean, yeah. I, I, you know, sometimes I have a crush on people when I'm acting because I'm supposed to have a crush on them when yeah, I'm of acting. Course. And it's easier than acting. Yeah, fake crush. Nothing wrong with a fake crush. Not fake crush. crush. I mean, I still have a crush on Howard the Duck. I just can't resist your intense animal magnetism. Uh -huh. Jaws 3D. I am obsessed with that. The third dimension is terror. I love that. <laughs> the third dimension is terror. First memory that pops into your head. Uh, the, my very first day of shooting, they, they were like, uh, here. And they pressed a button, and this giant plastic shark came like this out of the water like this. And they said, OK, you have to stand there and let the shark bite you. And I was like, they're just trying to kill me. I mean, it's my first day. They're going to kill me and then replace me. Well, thank you so much for playing. Thank I'm you so much. It's such an honor to meet you. I'm thank such you. a fan. Thank you so we much. We can't wait for the movie. Thank and, you. And uh, come back anytime. The Year of Spectacular Men. Yeah. Uh, June 15th, on demand, in select theaters. You're going to have a great time. You'll laugh, you'll cry. 